this is probably the only competition where most people who are into IT can actually showcase their creations, their products, everything. They love the open-ended challenge. They love the fact that they find something in the environment or in the school. They can solve it. You can present your project and show it and you can look at everyone else's ideas and learn from them. It's just a good way to network, make friends, to talk to other people that are like-minded. So I think that social aspect is one of the best aspects about this competition. I would have never thought of some of the ideas I've seen here. Yeah, and they're just extraordinary. They're coding, they're creating, they're innovating and applying their use of technology in a practical way so that it actually can solve a problem or teach others. So we find ourselves in eight cities across the country this year. We've grown to the highest amount of students, projects and schools ever engaged. It's been very exciting to see not only the growth, but the capability increase. Coming to an event like today gives both myself and all of my students an opportunity to see just what's out there and the possibilities that are available to them through technology. One of the things I love about this generation is they're incredibly ethical, they're really motivated by their values and they're doing it in a way that uses their understanding of the digital world. Because when you have kids being able to create solutions to the problems in their world by being able to create tangible things, the inspiration of learning is it just it blends all the way across STEM and, and into other areas as well. And that's why digital technologies are so important. We've brought here today a virtual world on Minecraft called the Leafy Sea Dragon National Park. It helps other people to realise that we have to care for the environment as well. I've got a light detecting solar panel and what happens is when it's really, really bright outside, the green light shows up the inside of the house. It lets people know how much light is outside so that their solar panels will work. Not wasting electricity, not wasting power. I've made a wind-powered car. The wheels are powered by a battery which makes the car move. Then the wind that goes to the propeller, when it spins, it makes energy which charges the battery. It won't add pollution to the air, which makes people sick. This is the emoji hat. So what you do is you press the button and a design changes. You can wear it at night for visibility. Neopixels can attach onto virtually anything and it's quite easy to make. So you can put it on the back of bicycle helmets or even the front of them. You're riding out at night, it'll flash and you'll be safer. Today we brought our project which is sustainable 3D printing and the purpose of this is to find sustainable and good quality filaments for 3D printing. I really wanted to bring more enlightenment to consumers on the kind of impact that this would have on the planet. I have brought a robot that will clean the environment using the EV3 kits and using this code. This could be used at the beach, schools and other public areas to clean up the environment. So this is Paige, she's pretty much a help for disabled people, anyone who needs help, elderly, based off a remote control and she can be FaceTime so you know where she's going. It's always good to see students who are prepared to go that extra mile because they're the ones that will be successful and represent Australia and the industries in the future. It has been one of the most awesome experiences, both for myself and the students. I think it's beyond anything we could have imagined when we decided to enter the competition at the start of the year. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate or an expert in IT, this IT competition is designed for everyone. There's nothing really you can't do. You can go anywhere your imagination takes you. All you need is just a clever idea and you can go so far.